Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and I'm going to be doing something different this time than what I've done in the past. This is a tutorial for programming. This is a programming concept, and the concept in this video is called a loop. Specifically, it's a while loop. So, basically what a while loop does uh, in programming is while something inside these parentheses is true, whatever's inside some brackets happens. And these things inside just keep happening over and over until eventually the expression inside the parentheses is not true. Once that happens, the loop shuts down and the program moves on to the next line. It keeps moving down or moves to whatever's next, basically. So uh, let's take a look at a real programming concept, not a programming concept, but a, an actual situation you might have in a program. So you would begin, let's say that we have a variable named i, and let's say that its initial value is 0. So i is equal to 0. Now we have a while loop that begins just after it. And while, we're going to say while i is less than 10, whatever's inside these brackets will continue to happen. Let's say that while i is less than 10, we're going to increase i. So we're going to say i equals i plus 1. So to anyone who's sort of new to programming, this that I'm highlighting right here may look a little strange uh, because in mathematics it's sometimes different the way you would solve an expression like that. What this is basically doing, I'm going to bring this over here, it's basically saying i equals itself plus 1. So it's adding 1 to itself. So remember that we're starting at 0, so it's going to say It'll be like 0 equals, and then whatever these add up to is what the variable becomes. So it's, remember, it's 0, so it's 0 plus 1. What do these add up to? 1. So that's what the variable becomes. So now it's 1. Then it's basically like 1 equals 1 plus 1, so it becomes 2 now. Equals 2 plus 1, it becomes 3. So see how it keeps increasing itself by 1 over and over and over? That's basically what, what it does inside that loop. So obviously it's going to keep going up and up and up, and, but you have to ask, when will it stop? Well, that's where this comes into play. It will eventually reach 10. There's no way it can't because if something keeps going up by 1 and it starts off at 0, there's no way it can't go to 10 eventually. So once it reaches 10, we're going to go up to this expression, and it's going to ask itself, is i less than 10? Well, is 10 less than 10? Nope. So once it hits that, i stays equal to 10. i does not change. But because that expression that's highlighted right here is no longer true, the loop completely ends, and the program moves onwards. So i is left equal to 10, the loop is no more, and whatever comes after it happens. That, in short, is pretty much what a while loop does. So just one more time to do a quick review. The syntax, I guess you could say, or the, the way that it would look is while something is true, do these things inside the brackets. So if you have any questions about this, just be sure and ask, but uh, I might try to do more of these tutorials later. Thanks for watching.